Greetings, everyone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm bumping my setup so early in the game. <laughs> Welcome into the hourglass. We're here at the nighttime, the best time with the nighttime I come alive. All right, we have release your ex. Oh my goodness. So some of you need to clear your energy. Let's start it. wheel and come again right release that energy so yeah welcome into the hourglass it's so great for you guys to stop by we're doing some channel messages anything come through it's coming through i'm speaking and broadcasting from the heart space so it may or may not resonate we have make the effort <laughs> So some of you are letting your, your ex hold you back from making the effort on that hottie that, you know, catches your eye. It makes you wonder sometimes, like, hmm, what if, you know, yeah, what if you wasn't caught up with this flimsy ex, right? It says great worth is, <laughs> great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this could be you or your person, but I feel like somebody's working on releasing a lot of old energy, stale energy. All right, they may have some boundaries, it may have some obstacles here, and somebody's willing to take that chance. They're willing to do the, the extra, go the extra mile. I'm getting 50 cents, 21 questions. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's talk about it. So we have soul matey with children. So some of you could have known each other from childhood days. You deserve love. Some of you may be secretly in love uh, with someone from your childhood, it could be school, college, your childhood neighborhood, you're in love with someone or you feel like this person is your mate to your soul. They may have children and right now they're putting their children uh, in front of this uh, soul matey type of connection or bond with you. Uh, maybe they have um, agreed that you guys do have like this special bond, but it's almost like they're asking for you to kind of loosen your grip for some of you, all right? They have children or they have really inner core issues that prevents them from kind of being all hey in the now or even putting in efforts with you. And we see that with release your ex. Some of you, this person is still hung up over a childhood sweetheart or they're still hung up over some really deep seated childhood issues. All right. So you deserve love. You know, whatever this person may be going through or doing, it has nothing to do with you and you deserve love. This card is coming out to kind of confirm that that you are lovable and you do deserve love and whatever is going on here this person is having to deal with it or they're choosing to kind of like um hold on there let it trap them with release your ex so i'm doing this all intuitively you guys so i'm also hearing some of your guys or in deep down you know that you have to kind of aim elsewhere if you want to receive love some of you i feel like you want children and whoever this is may have children already and you may feel like uh, this is what you deserve. You deserve a family of your own. We have compatibility. So yeah, this is a special bond, but it's like this person may be trying to be honest with you or they want to be honest that the both of you are just going in two different directions at this time. It doesn't mean that that's going to last forever. For some of you, it's been some years. I feel like somebody's been telling you that they're waiting for their children to kind of grow up and be on their own before they could have or even be present in the soul main energy. So it's like you're waving bye to this person and this person may be like trying to catch up with you. They're trying to like spend more time with you, but it may be very momentarily. This is intuitively speaking. This could be, you know, moments as if you guys stay together, you live together, but this person has to like constantly travel to see family or children or it, children really take up a lot of this person's schedule. Now, for some of you, something really weird happened to this person as a child and they may feel like they're not lovable. They may even feel like they don't deserve this love and that is keeping this person back. They're unable to release that experience so they could be present or show up for this very special bond that you have. So I feel like the both of you really need to be honest with the compatibility. It may have some emotional depth here, but it's a lot of anger or disappointment. We have the garden. Fabulous. Let me get some. Let me get some space. Hold on, you guys. All right. So with the space card, what I'm getting is like this. Someone may need some sort of patience here. Uh, 
with some things this person has to do. With the garden card, what I pick up is there needs to be a peaceful time or this person would like to spend peaceful time with you. With the garden energy, uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of flowers here and somebody's like chilling out. So somebody may be very satisfied with uh, the fun that they have going on in their life or the pleasure. Now, another thing I'm seeing here is the branches here. So, you know, you may be someone that's permanent or again, very special in this person's life. They may not have told you this. I feel like you may have very strong uh, morals and that makes you very desirable and lovable. Some of you may be uh, one of those very strong friends or this may be a very strong unbreakable bond with this branch or this trunk. Now, I'm looking at the trees, and the first thing I thought was ancestry. Ancestry. Uh, Celtic, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism. Wow, okay. I'm hearing that song by Alicia Keys. That's how strong my love is. Wow. So I feel like you're a tree, very strong morals. You're a very strong person. I feel like you want a bigger family. And you may have to like let go of past experiences to kind of let this happen. The garden card, reassurance, value. It's a lot of value with the fruits here as well. Essential. Some of you may have a food garden. Or herb, a herb garden. I feel like with you, this person feels like a lot of purpose. They may even be getting to know their family better because of this bond they share with you. Or they tend to be more joyful and fun around their children because of this soulmate bond. So maybe for a lot of you, encourage this person to be a better parent. Maybe you may be a parent and they watch you parent your children or they know that you're a good uh, parent hey life is for the living with the garden i'm hearing secret garden with the children what i used to love that movie the secret garden wow <laughs> so it could be imaginary friends hey <laughs> oh damn it i hate hitting my setup so maybe you guys shared like memories of imagination imaginary friends i don't Oh, it feels so, <laughs> it feels so magical. Let's see what's going on. Channel messages with this soul matey. Emotional freedom. All right. So some of you may be very unique. We have some sort of unicorn or winged horse hair. So I feel like, you know, maybe you're kind of unique. Both of you are very unique. It's a lot of warmth with the sun, a lot of growth, a lot of purpose. There's a stag head. Very magical shit, man. All we missing is like, who's that guy? <laughs> From Narnia. <laughs> that lion. <laughs> I forgot it. That's my favorite character. Anyway, I'm going to get it later. All right. So with the serpentipity, I feel like this person is holding back. You know, things are supposed to be happening naturally and gracefully, but this person is unable to release something or you're unable to release stale energy. I feel like some of you may be leaving fairies or again, there's some sort of uncertainty about releasing something here to have emotional freedom. Maybe you're dating a person or you know a person that's really difficult to love or so they feel. And they're, tr they're keeping themselves bonded or trapped by something very emotionally disturbing, an unchecked emotional wound. With all these rocks, what I'm also getting is like the foundation or the structure. This person may have very good memory. And this is why it's hard to let go of the past because they have so, it's such, it's such good memory here. You know, you got to be careful who you're making memories with because that thing could stay and you could keep, uh, that energy alive, even when that person is no longer in your life, whatever happened, whatever you experienced, you could keep reliving that stuff, right? So I feel like, you know, d you deserve love. You or this person really needs to kind of like understand that you are capable of loving and giving it and receiving it, hey? 
you guys may be two different types of people. You may have two different types of faith, background, cultures, but there's a strong bond. You might even not feel like the same type of creatures. The owl is here with more ancestry, more ancestral wisdom. One of a kind with the snowflake. You may have a snowflake pendant, tattoo. It's an uphill battle with this person. I feel like the ether has kind of delivered you to this person and they never would have thought that they would meet the, the mate to their soul. Wow. I'm getting someone needs to protect themselves with the children that could feel like this is going to happen really soon or somebody's really uh, naive or vulnerable here. Somebody could feel helpless. So protect yourself. I don't know why I got that. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, there's someone around you that's disappointing with God or whoever they feel is their savior or whoever they feel should uh, deliver, give them deliverance. Somebody's upset with source. Oh my word. There's disappointment and difficulties, hey? Somebody's craving a renewal with you. They wish to have some sort of emotional freedom where you guys could just uh, let go and embrace each other for who you are. It could feel very icy or cold right now. Maybe you guys are going through an uphill battle and things are very like coldish. It's written in the stars. The ethers is here with the stars and the sun. So I'm feeling like the ethers is like backing you guys up for some sort of renewal. There's a lot of superindipities happening or miracles, even uh, signs or synchronicities about divine timing. Very frustrated, man. What is this? They're letting the past frustrate them. It's like they can't release this stagnant energy naturally. Like they can't release it naturally. They feel like this is so magical person that's watching. This person could be 26 or 36, 46. Some of you could have a 16 year old or a six year old. Hmm. Six months old. Somebody have a six month old baby. There's a boat here. Somebody could own boats, scuba diving uh, gears. Something is totally off here with somebody's foundation. With emotional freedom, I feel like your person has a lot of uncertainties. They're unable to embrace their individuality. What is this? They're holding back because of old feelings. Hmm. Let's see how they're feeling. Yeah, with uh, release the energy. It's time to release the energy now. The time has come to release the energy. I feel like your person is, can't do it naturally. We have grateful. I'm hearing that song by, uh, what is that guy? Maxwell. Fortunate to have you, girl. Right? So glad that you're in my world. So somebody's very thankful, thinking about you, knowing about this soulmate energy or bond. It's like blessed. So this person may feel like blessed when they're with you, but there's some sort of anger, uncertainty here. The old feelings, some, all kind, some kind of old feelings. What is this? Shyness, loneliness, trapped, interesting, and worried. Somebody could have a sick baby and they're worried. Somebody could be very, very worried and feeling like something has been triggered here. Old feelings from a childhood. I feel for some of you, even though you may have a soulmate, you may be pregnant or you had a baby by a soulmate and they feel left out since this, since this baby is born. They feel alienated and trapped. Or this could be you as a new parent. Oh my, let's see what's going on. Somebody's lonely for this soulmate bond. They wish it could go back like how it used to. So this could be the old feeling that they're holding on to. They wish the sun would come out again and a renewal would happen with you guys. What's up? You could have been children when you met like teenagers or young adults. Could have had young children by other people involved. You know what I'm saying? You met this person at a time where they're very uncertain on who they were and who they wanted to be. 
and meeting you help them. They're reading the stars that maybe came an astrologist or into astrology or they're into like uh, forbidden knowledge. We have respect and grief. I'm also getting that this person feels like you guys are always in a fight. We have no Maybe you told this person no because they have too many loose ends and they're angry. They feel heartbroken. They feel even more unworthy of you. What? They wish things would turn around. They wish it wasn't such an uphill battle. I'm hearing no, don't do this. Don't, don't do that. All my love is all I have. Pride is what you have, baby girl. I'm what you have. No, they respect your no or they respect uh, your decision. They're angry and heartbroken about it, but they respect it. Wow. They, ex they accept your differences. Peaceful. That garden energy, peaceful. Somebody wants some peace time with you. Or somebody wants a break from their kids, from their mommy or daddy life, their parenthood. Somebody wants to be one with nature. This person does that, one with nature, and it helps them calm down. This person is extremely grateful. They feel extremely fortunate. They pray about you, and they hope that you pray about them or pray for them. They prayed for you as a child or if things were only different. Well, how do they feel about you, though? They feel disappointed or they feel like they may have disappointed you. They may have felt like they let you down or you got away. You were very loyal companion or playful companion. You were the potential to be one. We have depressed. So they may feel like you're numb to this uh, special bond that they share with you. You're very withdrawn. For some of you, this is making this person lonely and depressed. I feel like this person struggled with depression from a very young age. They didn't feel desirable. They didn't feel loved by their pa by their parents. We have shy. So your person may be very timid right now and they are hiding behind an emotional wall. They're icing you out or you ice this person out. Tell us more. How does this person feel about my person? I've watched and trapped. This person wants to let the beast out. We have empowered. This soulmate connection bond empowers this person. But whatever situation that they're going through right now, they feel extremely trapped. They feel like a caged beast. You know, I, uh, that song by Jada Kiss and Fabulous. Fuck, I forgot the name of the song. But it's like Jada Kiss was saying, you know, he only gets thugged out when he's when the lions is in a cage, you know, we only act gangster when lions are in cages, right? So I feel like this person, they want to like break out. They want, I feel like the thug is going to come out. The beast is going to come out of this person. I'm hearing I can't hold it in anymore. What is that? The hope. I guess that's the song, Jada Kiss and Fabulous, The Hope, right? Crazy fucking song. That shit is lit. That's my hype song, y'all. <laughs> So I feel like this power, this person, shit, I was going to say this powerful person, they want to break out from whatever is holding them back. They want to release it. They feel like a circus animal or they feel like um, put on display. Hey, I'm seeing like a lot of red eyes. So I don't know if this person is crying a lot or they get high. We get high, high, high. Some of you, this person is in prison. And this connection is very empowering to this person. I feel like they get a lot of uh, vivid dreams about you. If you haven't have a kid for this person, I feel like they dream about having a family when they get out, when they're freed from whatever situation is keeping them stuck or cornered. I feel like some sort of foundation is going to crumble and it's going to bring some sort of peace when the dust settles. Some sort of purging has to happen here. What? They feel like you guys could conquer the world. So this person may feel like you guys are a power couple. Yeah. They want to let the beast out. What does that mean? We have the eight of wands coming up twice for the night. So this person may want to reach out. They may even want to connect. This person may even uh, feel empowered to come really swiftly towards you, but they feel stuck. So it's like one part of them wants to get up and leave or escape. And the next part of them is like they can't because they may have children or again, they may feel very uh, unworthy of you. Old feelings is holding this person back. What? 
Ooh, somebody's baking chicken downstairs. Yummy. <laughs> All right, so eight of wands. I feel like this person is craving travel and freedom. They may even want to talk to you about it, you know, talk about how we could take actions towards each other. An exciting time is coming. Ooh, shit. Soon, very soon with the children card. A very exciting time is coming. We have the Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is destined kind of love. <laughs> they say two wrongs don't make a right, right? Yeah, so I feel like this person wants things to turn around. Yeah. Oh, something exciting is about to happen. I feel like this person may take a, a, a chance or a leap of faith on this destined love. You guys may too, be very two different creatures. Like backgrounds, faith, the things that you guys do, but you guys work. Very dreamy. You guys are very dreamy about each other. This person wants to offer some love. They want a renewal. If some of you, you know, it's not a renewal, but they want to give you some love. With the Wheel of Fortune, I'm seeing the numbers eight and one. So uh, this person could want to step into this leadership role. They're thinking about their physique. Something about their outlook in life, about this love is changing. Oh, okay. So they're improving themselves. Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, just could talk about self-love. Somebody's like nourishing themselves. There's a lot of crying with the red eyes and the tears or the, the, the rest, the, <laughs> the shower of blessings, Mountain Dew. Ooh, somebody likes Mountain Dew. Do you guys still drink that stuff? Ew. <laughs> Ooh, number eight. This is a very powerful personality. They feel powerful, empowered, strong when they're with you. And they want to break out. They go, they're going to break out. They're going to escape and travel to you. Uh -uh. <laughs> they may be learning a lesson about sex, magic. This person could be involved in other people's money or their children and finances wrapped up pretty tight. And this is why this person feels trapped. Something about inheritance or a legacy they want to create for their kids. Some of you, this person wants a baby girl with you. I want a baby girl. I want her to have your smile. We have three cards coming out together. We have the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Queen of Swords. So somebody's very clear. They have some self-evaluations or they went in. They went inward to reflect. And I feel like there's a son and a, a daughter here. Or they want twins. <laughs> Some of you are like raising your eyebrows like, but twins? That's if you could have children. There may be twins involved. They may run in twins. They may be a twin. But I feel like there's a new burst of energy and a need to expand here. There's a, there's a light. There's a match. There's a match. <laughs> it could be a match with compatibility as well. They feel like you're their yin. They could slip that ding-a-ling in the ting-a-ning <laughs> where's my damn beer damn it it's all the way across the room so we have a virgo we may have a fixed energy here this this virgo is very like fixed all right it's hard to persuade this person we have some gandalf energy as well so you may like gandalf or harry potter <laughs> Anyway, somebody's trying to work a magic trick here. Somebody's trying to escape. All right. They're in a really icy position or it's really cold. It's a cold world. Wherever this person is at, they may live in a very cold place. Or they feel really cold and lonely without you. Feel rigid. There's rigid energy. And this person wants to change that. I also I often look as the ace of wands or the ace of swords as changing energies. As feeling this burst of passion, this spirit to kind of do something here, contemplating for the longest, kind of turning inward or into a, into their crab shell. I feel like this person is paranoid. Something about not talking to you clearly, or they want to talk to you clearly, but they're kind of like, uh, backing into their shell. They could feel very exhausted with whatever situation they're tied up in kind of wanting to talk to you about it. It's something that they don't want to see. They're tied to something or they don't want to admit or they're in denial about this, whatever situation they're trapped in. They don't want to admit the truth about this entrapment. 
the queen of swords is brutally honest with oneself and others and i feel like this person may be hiding away from being honest hey or they're hiding away from your judgment because the queen of swords could be very judgmental but it's all facts right judge judy shit they don't put me here because i'm cute <laughs> they put me here because i'm smart and you know, Judge Judy, she don't fuck around. So some of you may have the same birth date or the same birth month of Judge Judy. The Queen of Swords could be someone that's in the role of... Uh, <clears throat> my throat did something there. Of maybe a Virgo or Libra. This may be a Virgo Libra cusp where you guys are totally different, but you work. This person may uh, have problems with the laws, a temper, hey? They have like this big cat energy, very ferocious, or very, they could attack you and rip you to fucking shreds. I'm hearing the song by DMX, rest in peace. Here comes the boom. You're going to rip another butthole out of place. It's a dirty job, but I just love doing it, right? So somebody may want to escape and travel to you. They want swift change or somebody travels a lot by air. There's a lot of infatuation and passion and emotions here, and they feel free. They feel like they could be who they need to be. Maybe your inner children, your inner light plays really well with each other. You may give this person a lot to think about and, you know, they have to uh, kind of like hide away and think about what the fuck you just said because, yeah, I don't really digest it. I don't really comprehend it when you state it right away. So I have to think about it. I have to go in. I'm thinking about the green lantern with the lantern hair. So it's all about will, right? <laughs> it's all about will. Maybe your person name is Will. This person is looking for the key to be unlocked hair. And I feel like they tried to go within and figure out how they could unjam themselves, unfuck themselves, or untie themselves, untangle themselves from whatever is keeping them stuck. Some of you, this person is uh, very committed or they were very dedicated to whatever this is. It's by law or by duty. This person may be a father. This could be a pastor, a priest. Somebody could be a spiritual teacher or there's a spiritual teaching going on in this uh this thing with you guys, all right? It's about love, it's about faith, it's about dedication, devotion. Somebody's very sentimental and into structure. So you could be dealing with a Taurus that loves purpose and structure. This is what's turning the wheel, or you know, this is what makes this person world goes round. They have a structure already established and they feel very committed or they feel like they have no choice but to stay in that position. They bowed or they made a commitment. There's a contract here. They have a duty to teach others. So this could be a school teacher, a father, a parent. Oh, they could be a grandparent with a grandchild. Grandchildren. We have the magician. So be careful. I feel like somebody's kind of deceiving themselves with why they're tied to a situation. It's like almost like they don't, it's like they're denying the reason why they're taking up this responsibility. Somebody could have manipulated your person, coerced them into this obligation, guilt tripping them, using their power or using some sort of power over your person or vice versa. This could be you. Somebody was manipulated into a commitment hey, because of children. And this person feels extremely stuck and drained. It's like they want to escape and when they try to, they feel like they should give up or they did try before. And I heard some, I heard, and, and that person peppered their asses. So they may have called the cops. Or every time this person tries to break this responsibility or commitment, uh, somebody manipulates them more. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in reverse. Oh, my. So, you guys, what? I feel like you guys are in separation because of this. This is why this person was very cautious and slow. I feel like when they do come and offer you or want to renew something or some sort of proposal, it's going to be steady. It's almost like this person may be doing two things at once or living two different lives. They're not going to let you get away. They manifest you or they're still kind of trying to manifest you, trying to pull you back in. They're trying to recreate uh, moments here. Or they're constantly praying. I'm, I'm hearing I'm going to do the best with, with what I have or I'm going to do, I'm going to, 
try with all my might with all my might this person is really focused on you this person may be a powerful manifester because their faith is so freaking strong <laughs> i'm getting choked up what's up oh my for some of you this person does not want you to think i feel like you think a lot and this person may be feeling like you're thinking that they're not all for you or this is just unrequited because you're choosing to stay stuck or this person is choosing to stay stuck. We have a number one here as well. We have 115. We have 119. This is serious. One plus one is two. And then came a baby in a baby carriage. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, y'all. What's in this water? <laughs> you have the key. Oh, my goodness. You have the key person to unlock this person. You see the key? I was looking at the key, and there comes the hierophant with the keys of heaven. Oh, somebody feel like they've been locked out of heaven. What is that jagged edge? They're talking to their mama. Their mama may be a big influence in their life or their pa. They have a very strong faith. Some of you may be dealing with someone their parent is like prayer warriors, right? Big time, big shatas. That's funny. <laughs> wow. This person who is wearing a triple crown, this person is like triple aware that this is a special bond. You guys fit like a glove. You fit me like a glove. A lot of, this is a sphinx. That's a lot of uh, wisdom. They're manifest, manifesting something to turn, hey. So you guys may be in separation, but it's slowly but steadily happening. Mm -mm. What? This person is, manif they're laser focused on manifesting with you. Is that what it is they're trying to do here, person that's watching? Let me see if I have any notes about this. I ha I'm hearing return of the Mac. All week I'm hearing return of the Mac. Ugh. Yeah, with this Virgo energy, I feel like this person is getting serious about a new routine with the Ace of, with the Ace of Wands. They're getting very serious. With the Knight of Pentacles, they're being very patient because this is something risky. For some of you, this person is trying to take the cheaper way out. They feel like this is very trustworthy or you're teaching them a lot of spiritual lessons. They're trying not to be impulsive because they don't want something to... to come in shambles, shambles whatever their structure is or whatever they have established they're trying to play it safe for all involved including some children here or they're protecting their child their inner child they feel like this love is deep and it's no rush with this knight of pentacles they may feel like this is long term they see you in the longer run they see you as a, a, a commitment that they could make or they're focusing on commitments to work, things that they have manifested. It's like they don't want to, they don't want it to fall away. What is this? Oh, you know what? Even in separation, their love grows. In the Two of Cups in reverse, even though things may be uh, imbalanced, there's no harmony. They're sticking to you. What? I feel like they're sticking to you. They see long term. They see this as reliable and workable, but maybe just not right now. Love is deep. It's reliable. It's love. And this is why they're moving slow. No need to rush. Be patient, my love. They're researching something before they invest. Hierophant, uh, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of uh, swords that you know queen of swords is someone that does a lot of study this may be somebody that speaks three different languages i'm hearing three rings ring 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 okay so let's get some channel messages and close it up <laughs> all right channel messages from this person please don't give my love in a way keep it sacred this is very sacred to this person they feel like they need to hurry up, but they know they need to take it slowly. There's energy that's holding your person back here. I'm going to marry you. 
I love who I am when I'm with you. Can't tell how happy I am with you. Want to grow old. So some of you, you guys are like going through a growth period where you guys were young and dumb and full of cum. <laughs> you guys are growing together. And this person is taking it steady. They like the steadiness, even though there's a lot of anticipation. They are very uh, disciplined. I'm, I am continuously conquering the stagnant energy in my life. Unstoppable. Oh, shit. So even though they feel stuck and trapped, they're still moving slowly. They're trying to be very cautious. Someone could get hurt here. Remove yourself from the past so you could arrive at your better future. Embrace the change. I feel like they know that you're hurting because you may feel like this is an ending, there's a divorce, and there's a separation here. They fear women and men like you. So we have a ghosting or a ghoster, a runner, someone that blows hot and cold. Uh, you could be very highly intelligent. So, that, so is this person, somebody's ice cold, ice cold. Self-knowledge, I know who I am, not settling and proud. I feel like this is this person's attitude. This could be yours, but this is this person's attitude right now. They're not settling here. Sci-fi came over to see what the... <laughs> they, they gangsta, sci-fi, they gangsta. Let's see what else we have here. I'm ready to be open and surrender to change, divine timing. They're tired, you guys. They're tired of being stuck. They're tired of these obligations, of these commitments that they're no longer satisfied. It makes them cry. They may even want to confess. They may even want to ask for forgiveness. There goes sci-fi flaring. He's seeing his reflection. Jesus. <laughs> we have sex addiction. So this could be something that they're ashamed of. They want to be punished. Well, they like punished in the bed. They like to get punished. They want to get that booty slapped. We have codependent on other sexual desires for me, flashy, attention-seeking, and options. So this person may have had children, uh, and I don't want to put a label on that because children are supposed to be very innocent, but I feel like this person had a sex addiction and they may have a lot of outside children. This makes them very unhappy because this is not the life that they planned for these children multiple daddies or multiple mommies it, it even though this person's very strong and more than capable of taking care of their responsibilities the the truth of it it hurts this person and i feel like there's a lot of uh shame <clears throat> they may be just like their dad or they didn't want this life they didn't expect life to turn out that way and it keeps them trapped you know what that song by um fabulous young og when he talked about uh these ninjas out here looking fat and gaudy. And he talked about having multiple scattered shorties and all of these kids around and shit. So that could be something that torments this person. It stops them from manifesting uh, or it causes them to go really slow. Hey, in life, your angels are around you and support you in your goals. Four, four, four. Somebody's angels is encouraging a lot of study, research, and mental work. Try to rework, try to rework how something is going to move forward or improve, or how this person is going to unlock themselves, untangle themselves from a situation. The keys is here, but this person may not want to touch it yet. Three, 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 growth, abundance, prosperity is coming to your doorstep. One more card and we out. I'm afraid of my emotions. Love makes me want to risk everything. Yeah, they just want to dip. They want to escape, you know. You know, fuck the children, fuck that life, not just playing. But it feels that way. Like they just want to move on. The kids may be grown. They may feel like they're not needed as much, right? Or it's something about a business. This person may feel like, you know, the relationship is over, the marriage is over. All we have is this bunch of materialistic things. And somebody could be guilt tripping them, you know, kind of worried about how they're going to upkeep this lifestyle. You know, uh, this person wants to risk it all and that scares them. You know, everything that they were taught, will I be left with nothing? Feeling pressured to provide you a life I cannot provide for myself unsaid feelings so they may be in a predicament where they're very codependent or they're not able to get the life this lifestyle that they want without this obligation or this false commitment uh i want a partnership it won't always be easy or perfect i just know if the good outweighs the bad it will be well worth it so this person will try if you're willing to stay 
uh, they feel like if the good really outweighs the bad, why not? You know what I'm saying? Taking it slow, kind of like studying the situation. Smack that ass and tell you that I'm glad that ass is mine. Somebody likes to get paddle in their booty. You don't need love letters. <laughs> so they want to do some action. Never thought it would turn out this way. I'm heartbroken. Yeah. This person is kind of uh, salty or ashamed that their life turned out the way it did. They would never expect that this life that they created is holding them back from the soulmate connection. Holding them back from the magic of life, of living. If you don't keep trying, you will never get back what is yours. Ooh. Never thought it would turn out this way. Let's get one more card. One more. Oh my God, heartbreaking. This person is heartbroken. This person is crying. If you ever lose love, don't go looking for it. Reach inside and recreate what you think you lost. You are love. You can't lose you. Oh my goodness. Organize your mind in a positive way and positive results will follow. Six, six, six. Six is a sign of, uh, six is the number of self-love, of love, of uh, bursting out of anxiety, breaking out of this anxiety prison, this exhausted mental prison. Six could also talk about uh, kind of like recognizing fear-based thoughts that keep you strapped or trapped in a situation. It's a lot of money or financial matters here. Correct could be involved, somebody's achievements, the rewards. It's like, how could I give it all up? Or they're thinking about giving it all up and that scares them. Like they wanna throw away everything that they work really hard for because of this you know, very special soul bond. Oh my goodness, this person. Their community may be looking up to this person or they're well knitted in the community. So they may have status or um, titles. Hey, <laughs> wow. Protective of it as well. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did, big up on yourself, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. If you want to big up the Hourglass channel, do check, do check out the description box below. It keeps the lights on here, candles, new decks on site as well so thank you guys so much for making that possible it goes right back into the hourglass channel and i'll see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao